Hey guys, Edison here. This uh, Before you click off this title, it might seem clickbaity. It's kind of the point. Uh, it's something that I do want to discuss, and I think it's a pretty important subject matter when discussing PSA and grading cards, and you know, for that matter, altogether. Um, like this is something that can happen and might happen to your cards, or you might be worried about your cards. And we're going to go over this fan club magic card. That's what the video is going to be about. You saw me send it out in a video like a week ago. Uh, that video was delayed, but PSA pretty much got this card back to me in a week. Some people probably saw my grade already. I've posted it in some discords I'm in and sent it to some friends and talked about it. Uh, but let's just go off of what we see. So here's the front. Here's the front of the card. This is the exact same card that I sent in. I'm completely aware of that. We can see that top right-hand corner has the chipping that I noted. The bottom right-hand corner, you can very faintly make out this one white dot there. I was aware of that. And then left-hand corner, I'm actually gonna grab a pen to point stuff out. Left-hand corner right there, another bit of chipping. So the three points of chipping on the front, I was aware of. And then also the way they emboss these fan clubs, uh, it's almost like a little offset. And this is the exact uh, alignment. So front facing, it's not bad. It, it really isn't that bad. It presents super nicely. I could take this off, I could flip it to the back. Old back Japanese uh, is it, it, hard to preserve. This stuff is very supple, it's very soft, uh, picks up scratches very easily. But if we look at it, it's clean. The 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 main things that I noted uh, when I purchased it and before I sent it off, this top right here, there was a white dot, you know, maybe the tiniest pin, pin needle um, whitening right there, pin needle whitening at the bottom left, and then a little bit of something right there, but that might be a crossover from that white dot on the front. But if you look at the back, it presents super nice. Front presents super nicely. Uh, to my knowledge, the, the hollow foil isn't scratched either. It, you know, it doesn't really seem to be that bad of a card. Uh, it looks, it looked fine in the listing photos, um, and it looked fine right before I sent it off. So. You might be wondering like what the grade was. I expected maybe a seven to an eight because I know they're pretty harsh with that chipping. And that's why I was surprised that it came back a very good three. But what had happened when I got this grade was two things went through my mind. The very first thing was, oh my God, I, I damaged the card. I thought that the way that I had packaged it was insufficient. And because of how I sent it to PSA, it's, it got damaged in transit or it was damaged when they're trying to open up the package. Then it came to, oh, did PSA damage the card? And I've had a couple, I have a couple friends whose cards were damaged by PSA, either like the hollow foil and their cards were scratched up a little bit more, or I know a friend that sent in a, you know, fairly high-end card and actually two friends sent in high-end cards. They both got, uh, they both got dents at PSA. So that, that was kind of in my mind, the worst case scenario. And I remember watching a loot box TV video, uh, maybe like a year ago where he got back a Neo Smurgle, Smurgle, and the card was bent like vertically. Uh, sorry, diagonally, like right across that. And they gave it a three as well. So I was thinking, worst case is they did the same thing to this card. They bent it, you know, the grader accidentally bent it. They just slapped it as a three and sent it back. So to me, I kind of expected there to be serious damage to it. And I was actually hopeful because then it would give even more credence. Like there was super obvious damage. I could say blatantly, PSA damaged my card. That would just be, if it was a bend, if it was a serious crease, I could just say, okay, this was done by PSA because I obviously didn't submit it like that. I have pictures, scans, videos uh, to prove that. But the issue is, and why they gave it a three, uh, I'm gonna try to show it right there. You can see, on um, if I hold it at like this, this bit of a diagonal, the light shining at that angle, you can see one kind of curved dent and then another one right above it and then connecting the M to the O a dent. Um, these look like pressure dents from either a finger or some of the Japanese, modern Japanese promos do come with a coin, uh, very similar to how those dents look. But this card didn't come with a coin. It probably, you know, if you think about how old this card is, it's 20, 22 years old. Uh, the, the, these are not, these are not new cards. They've, they've been around for a while. The rest of the card was preserved, but just with how supple and soft these backs are, uh, I guess, dents and stuff are to be expected so you can definitely see them right when i hold the light like this and i'm not sure if that helps it at all it actually probably detracts from it 
Yeah, in the natural lighting at this angle, you can see the three dents that would have knocked it down. So it seems to me PSA, uh, and I went over the edges as well. Everything else looked fine. Um, it really just seemed like it was that. And then you can kind of see on the front, so there's some like sweat streaks on it. It's very hot here. You can kind of see very faintly that the front got pushed out ever so slightly. Uh, super minor, much harder to see than the back dents. So I'm getting, my assumption is that's, the, they noted that the grader did their job. They saw that. Um, and to PSA, dents are a big detractor. A dent to them uh, is objectively just damage. So they knocked it down to a three. To me, this card still is right around an eight. Um, you know, regardless of that damage. If that damage wasn't there, I should say it would be an eight. And I think it's a little extreme that they knocked it down five grades to a three to a damage card. Uh, and just to compare it, you've seen this card. I've done a pretty thorough inspection of it. Here is a, a CGC 3 EX. And obviously different English, Japanese are different. Um, EX cards are different. A lot of stuff, different grading companies. But in this context, this is what, what I, when I think of a three, this is what I think of. Um, a three on surface, three corners, four edges. So you see there's a, a fat crease right there. On the back of it, there is edge wear all along the sides. There's edge wear. The corners are super dented and kicked in. Uh, this one's faded and dented. Like This is a, a damaged card for all intents and purposes. So when I get a very good three on this, I expect it to be that because I don't know. Uh, but for this, it really just seems to me that they were almost egregiously harsh on this. I know PSA has their standards for dents. A lot of dents I see get between fives and fours. You know, they probably gave it a three because of the placement of the dents, the fact that there are technically three separate ones and that it's, you know, a higher end card. I do think they grade that stuff a little stricter. Uh, and yeah, I think that's why I got this grade and I'm not really sold on what I'm gonna do yet. I probably am out the cost of grading. So if I end up regrading it, I'm just accepting that, uh, that I lose $300 because I sent it in the PSA first. I know BGS and CGC have very different standards for dents than PSA. So if my end goal is to cross grade it, uh, I can always go to one of those companies. It's a little frustrating because I know there's quite a few dented cards and cards that have egregious edge wear um, that look damaged to me that score above eight, but that, that's like a different conversation altogether. And to answer the question, which is what like this whole video was framed after is, did CG, uh, PSA damage my card? You know, I, I maybe could make the case that I think they did, that they did it. Uh, but after seeing this card in hand, I really don't think they did. Uh, I believe what really happened was I got this card in. It was a really expensive card and I was nervous. So what I did was I just changed sleeves, put it in a... So you saw how I had it in a different sleeve. I had one of those pull tabs. And this is what's so sad to me is the pull tab that I had, I grab one right here, pretty much covered up the Pokeball. It covered up the Pokeball and the MO for Monster and went to the top so they could pull the card out. And that's the exact area on the card that the dent was on. So when I inspected the card in the sleeve, I would have seen the dent. Uh, people say like, oh, you can't see dents in a sleeve and in a case. Uh, that's not true. You can see the dent pretty clearly through this. It's just the fact that I had the pull tab there and I did that because I thought it would make it safer for me to move the card in and out of the card saver and for the grader to do so. But what it really did was made it so I couldn't actually see the damage on this card. And that's just on me. I, I, I take full responsibility for that um, there. And now I'm kind of stuck with this three. But it does present well. And I am confident on the long-term uh, the long -term future for cards like this. It is, it's just funny. It's just funny to get back at three. And I know a lot of people get back low grades from PSA. And their automatic assumption is that PSA either misgraded or damaged it. This one I think is fairly close to kind of, it's a little bit tougher than I think they would normally be on other dents, but I can understand how they came to this conclusion for the card. So that's it. That's, uh, I'll get, keep you guys updated, I guess, on what to do with this. It is still a cool card to have and, you know, any updates, if I choose to cross grade, all that stuff will be on the channel. So thanks for watching and uh, I'm sorry for clickbaiting you guys, but have a nice one.